tutorial, we are going to explore 13 tools found on the floating toolbar. We can use the pen tool just like a marker and use the eraser to wipe off the board. Next is the highlighter, which can be used to highlight important words or sentences. Using the cursor, we can scroll up or down the library panel. We can also use it to place an object on the stage. You go to Library of Pictures, choose a picture and add to stage. Let's add another picture onto the stage. Using the cursor, we can resize it. We can even click on options of duplicating or even locking the picture. Using the cursor here, we can also add an action to the object. For example, we can add an audio file by clicking on Add Action. We then drag and drop an audio file to the object. To play this action, we do not use the cursor, rather we use the magic hand. The next tool is the zoom tool. We click on zoom in to make text or objects appear bigger, while zoom out will make the text or objects smaller than the actual size. In order to restore to the original size, we just do a long press on the appropriate zoom button. The next tool is the laser pointer, which acts as a virtual pointer to point at a particular feature on the board. Next is the line tool. We use this tool to draw straight lines or even shapes. With the right text tool, you can type words, phrases or sentences. We can resize the text box, change the font color and make the text size larger or smaller. We can even format the font. Lastly, we have the screen capture tool. For example, if you have a world map on the stage and you want a part of it, just select the capture tool, click and drag at the same time at the area you will need.
Then you add to current page or add another page or even add it to the library for later use. That's all for the session. See you in the next one.